Hey, look at there, it's starting to work. Got my camera upside down, so I don't know if this is uh, gonna show up right side up or not, but I'm going to do bubbles with um, a straw and velvet underglaze black. Um, just got some dish soap in here and a bare piece of pottery right here. Um, glazed and, and um, a little wax to prevent the bubbles on either side of this bare spot. Um, then I just go to town. I'll show you how it goes. trick is trying to keep the bubbles on the pot without them falling off before the, the uh, you gotta give it time for the underglaze to drip off the bubble and stick to the pottery and make an impression. It's starting to, it's hard to see, but it's starting to make black outlines of bubbles. I'm not going to add any more at this point. Hopefully I have enough underglaze. I don't know if I stirred it quite well. You can kind of see what's going on there. It's a little hard to see. And then once they do that, those look good. Once they do that, they get kind of 3D. They move around a lot. They'll start to look like this. You can see that one's finished. Came out pretty well. Super cool. Once they pop, you can blow off the extra bubbles, and you get a little little uh, blurry blurriness there, but sometimes they stay perfect. Look at that. That one's awesome. You get a couple layers of bubbles going on. That one looks kind of dizzying, but anyways, pretty cool. Can you see that? Alright.